on a dark and fateful night, sinister figures stirred in the woods surrounding Amadeus's cottage. No sign of that thrice darned husband anywhere. Those no good heroes won't mess up our plans this time. Let me tell you a little story that reveals more about the goblins we last encountered in the wilderness. As the goblins were doing their dark work, our three valiant heroes were returning home from their quest. Amadeus, Pontius and Zoya, heroes of the Trine, had come back at last after a long journey across distant lands. Lanterns and decorations had been put up all over the town in celebration for the hero's homecoming. They stopped in the tavern to enjoy the warmth of the fire and hear the latest news. And Pontius, of course, looked forward to having a huge feast. Barkeep, the champions return and they are thirsty. I'd better head home to Margaret. I don't want more trouble. I've had my share of dragons. It's very quiet here. Where is everyone? I have this feeling like we've forgotten something. Let's see. We rescued the princess. We rescued the pumpkins. Goblins! Goblins at the walls! I get children! <laughs> Never a dull moment. <laughs> I thought I'd have a nice cup of tea and a change of clothes. <laughs> the trine. Where's it going? Let's make haste. There must be more problems at the walls. Can you hear something approaching? All of a sudden, I really want bacon.
Maybe we should find Lady Margaret first, before we go and kick them goblins out. Never mind her right now. I'm sure she'll just breathe fire on anyone who even looks at her the wrong way. I agree. Let's deal with these goblins first. Yeah. 
Listen, we has the Margaret. Ooh, ooh. What? Anagraph, is that you? Margaret? Oh, where in the devil have you been? Sort this out immediately. The wyvern will take care of you now. You're in for a little ride. Oh, now I get it. You're staging a false kidnapping to get off the hook for disappearing. And remember, don't come back. Or the woman gets it. <laughs> Have a nice trip to wherever. And somebody make her stay quiet. Outsmarted by Wheeze the Goblin, the trio was flown away to distant lands by a terrifying wyvern beast. Where are they taking her? Had threatened to harm Margaret should the heroes return. Cowards! All cowards! To steal an innocent woman! A woman, anyway. The new adventure had now taken a grave turn indeed. Wyvern flew away, leaving the heroes in the middle of a forbidding dust land. Those despicable savages! We have to find Margaret and the triplets. No one mentioned your children. 
Chances are they're still safe. Oh, what about this blistering heat? I I'm boiling in the my The chine ran away. Why won't it come back and take us to Margaret? But we're still under its spell, still glued together. Chin up! We'll find her! Poor Margaret. What horrors she must be enduring. on them statues. A ray of searing hot sunlight. It must be focused through a glass lens or something. The hero's attention was drawn to the mural in the back of the room. Who's this here? Goblins seem to have taken a fancy to it. Some kind of goblin god? Could be. Charge!
Uh, ladies first. Oh, just when we were getting started.
Look, shooting stars. Ah, it's nice to be cool for a change. <laughs> An earthquake! How about we retreat for a change? After the goblins had attacked the kingdom, the heroes of the Trine had been spirited away to a forbidding wasteland. The heroes' trek through the blistering desert had taken them out of the frying pan and into a digestive system. An enormous worm had emerged from underneath the treacherous sands and swallowed all of them alive. Luckily, the giant worm did not chew before swallowing, but to be plunged into the belly of a beast was quite discomforting nonetheless. Shrine! I demand you come to us this instant and take us away. They wouldn't have taken Margaret if it weren't for you. Oh, we'll find a way out. Don't worry. We've seen worse than this. Yes, although we've never seen the insides of worse than this. Can you hear me? I'm little fireball throwing children, just like you have your slime slinging baby wormlings. But Amadeus's voice could not carry very far. And even if it could, it was unlikely that the worm cared much for anything its lunch had to say. Disgusting tentacle things. This worm is headed somewhere. Just mere moments before they took her. I'm a horrible person. She wasn't exactly radiating love and comfort earlier. She's very brave, my little darling. Putting up that prickly, steely exterior in the face of danger. Sure, like a regular Iron Maiden. arrived at a pool of gastric acids.
Oh no. Why is it boiling? What did we do? So the worm decided to get rid of the meddling lunch that had proved too much to swallow. <laughs>